five to five. It's um, five to five in the morning and uh, I am off to Harris in the uh, Outer Hebrides. I've got about a 600 mile drive to Skye. Overnight stop in Skye, ferry tomorrow morning at 9.40. First job, load up the car and get on my way and then hopefully uh, I'll be talking to you next at uh, breakfast in the Lake District. Stage two, we are at T-Bay Services. Proof that we're in the Lake District, Kendall Minkate. Welcome to Harris guys, this is the uh, southern half of Harris which is basically like a lunar landscape, um, unlike Lewis which is much more fertile, we're down, coming down south and that beach in the distance you can see is the famous uh, Luscantire beach. This is the horrors of being a landscape photographer, as you can see, um, truly awful. Beach is packed, two people crowding out my beach for me. It's Saturday first, my first day on Harris. And uh, you can see what I've got to contend with. A few clouds, blue skies, sand, and no people. And uh, give you a swing around, a bit of a shot of where I am. Uh, you can sort of see where I am now. Um, but the beach is just stunning. So I'm just gonna try here. You see mountains behind me. And uh, it's tough, but you know, someone's gotta do it. I could be stuck in office, could be stuck at home, could be stuck on the motorway. But now I'm actually, uh, I'm actually here. So um, we're gonna try and get a shot to say, trying not to put my footprints. Now this is interesting. We've got some lovely patterns here in the sand, um, beautiful patterns. The light not, might not be perfect for them, but it's maybe worth having a look at. So I'll set up and um, see what we can get, see if I can find something quite interesting. Chat in a minute. Right, so we've uh, found a sort of composition um, using this 
the stream. Um, it's such a beautiful day, it's quite difficult to concentrate, not just uh, going having a paddle on the beach, but uh, there's some lovely shapes in the sand, a bit of movement. I just quite like this line that goes down, that works its way down the beach. You've got the two gulls there, but the main thing is the clouds. I'm actually using a 16 to 35 on about, uh, it's on about 28 though. So uh, I, I was, did my 24 to 70. Just trying to get a little movement, get that line, get some nice shapes. It's not perfect. Um, it's just an opening shot. I'll have a wander around. I thought, well, I'll have a go, take a picture um, and get a couple of images. I've actually, I've tried it without and with. I've used my uh, 10 big stopper and I've got a polarizer on. I think polarizer is going to massively help with the sky and the clouds. Um, and I'm using around about a 25 exposure, uh, 25 second exposure um, on the uh, on my DA10 ISO 64. So everything right down to try and get a nice long exposure just to get this movement going. And I'll get the texture hopefully in the sand, but some movement in the water as well. So hopefully we can get a little bit of everything and then just a nice lead line down to the down to the water and um, we'll see what it looked like. Luscombe Tower Beach is uh, truly amazing, but with the light this harsh, I decided it made sense to just go and enjoy the scenery and wait until sunset uh, for my next image. People think uh, landscape photography ah, not worth trying it. Well, you can come out here and you can see the absolute beauty of this place. Um, but I'm hoping for a really hazy sunset. I don't want anything straight into a bright light. And I'm really hopeful that cloud's just going to go wonderful oranges and greens and blues and all sorts of different hues. Um, but what I've got to do is try and find a, an iconic Paris type of shot. So that's going to have to have sand in, going to have to have water in. And uh, obviously, ideally, we're going to get a bit of sunlight as well, sunshine, and even a sunset. So, still walking, let's see where I'm heading towards. Just trying to find an iconic piece of water. So, it's, uh, fingers crossed I find something fairly shortly before the colours come in that sunset. So, um, wish me luck and uh, you'll see me in a few minutes. Um, apologies for the bad GoProing and filming, but it was an absolute mad rush to get around the corner to try and get some of these colours. And you can see what uh, it's a gorgeous evening out on the mud. Um, and um, as you can see, I'm simply using a long exposure and I've got some wonderful lines in the mud. And uh, hopefully, the picture will speak for itself. I've taken a few quick frames, I've just very quickly had to try and get this done, but uh, I got soaked in the process. 
Um, but hey, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Um, let's hope the image comes out okay. And with that, um, I'll say good night from the other house. Lobster pots, 